Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get custom capes in Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.2 and Minecraft Windows 10 Edition 1.2 Beta. You can literally have any cape that you desire. I'm going to be doing this tutorial on Windows 10. However, I will explain as much as I can on how this works for Android. There'll be a couple of downloads below, so make sure you check them out because they are important. Huge thank you to Goldie Apple because for everybody who doesn't have the Minecon skin cape because you missed it, this actually gives you the current Minecraft skin cape. So if I go to exit and I go to change my skin, you will see not only do I have a custom one, but I also have the Minecon um, skins as well. And also there's a space for a free one right here. So it's pretty fantastic. It's really simple to do. Let's get into this. If you do find this useful, be sure to hit that like button. So a couple of things that I have on my desktop is in fact the skin that I want to use, which is going to be my skin. I have a cape that I want to change, which I found on Google, which I will show you how to find them. I have the capes.zip, which I recommend installing, and I have the capes.mc pack. Now the MC pack itself, if you click on this and install it on Windows 10, or in fact on Android, it will be my skin. Now this is not a bad thing because if you install this, it will then make this in a specific file which we're gonna locate. So we'll start off with the very, very basics here. What we'll do is we'll install the capes.mc pack, which you're all welcome to do. This is gonna install the Minecon cape where you have the Enderman, the Creeper, and so much more. Now going into here, which of course is where, as we all know how to change your skin, you're about to see the skin pack itself. So this one being 2016, the Enderman, this one being the Iron Golem, this one being the Piston, Pickaxe, Creeper, etc. Okay, so by default, it's gonna be my skin when you download this. However, you can change the skin if you want to. So if you're doing this on Windows 10, you have to find a specific file location. And to do this, I have it in the description, all right, but you can find it on mcpdl.com. This will be in description. All you need to do is change the name of the user. So for example, because my PC is named as Scott, all I gotta do is find this, then go to com.mojang. It's exactly the same on Android. Find com.mojang, go to skin pack, and this is the file that we've just installed, okay? So this is, of course, 2011, 12, 13, 15, and 16. These are, of course, the capes. Now this skin is my skin. So if you wanna change your skin, a sk this skin to be yours, put your skin in here, but make sure you've renamed it as skin.png. That will replace this one, meaning it will be your skin and not mine. Now, with that being said, what we're going to do here is we're going to change this. So, for example, I changed the 2013 one. So, for a cape that you find on Google, what you'll do is you'll change this to 2013 cape, I think it was. If that's correct. 2013 cape, yes. Okay, so I'm going to change that completely. Now, it does say two because I also, also have this file here just in case I lose it. So, what I'll do is I'll put this inside of here. I will then delete this one. I will change this from having the little brackets of two, and this is gonna be 2013 CAPE, which actually it needs to be capitals. Change the C to a capital. That is exactly what you need to do. So the custom CAPE that I'm gonna be installing is the one that you've seen at the start of the video. When we load up Minecraft now, this is going to be the Minecon 2013 CAPE. So it'll be replaced with the sword one that you've just seen. Now I know there's a lot of steps to take in here, Hopefully, I've still got you guys here right now. So if I click on this, you will see, once it's installed, this one has changed the sword. If I confirm it, go to play, go to the exact same game, I'm gonna have that exact same cape back in game. Now, I'm gonna do this with a different cape. I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. So if you're just looking for a different cape on Google, a couple of things that you can do is type in Minecraft Capes PNG, because they're all PNG files. You're specifically looking for the ones that have double. Uh, these single ones, they really don't work that well when I've been doing some testing. So, you know, we'll try this one, for example. So what we'll do is I'll right click, I'll save image, I'll save it to my desktop. So that is now saved. I am gonna have to edit this. So you might need some kind of editor within um, your Google Play itself. You might find an app, I believe there's a capes editor that you guys can download. If anybody can leave a comment down below, that will help other people. So there's a bunch of capes that you can do. I also found a website called minecraftcapes.com, which kind of has a bunch of capes available as well. So what we'll do is I'll download two different ones. I'll download the purple one, which you've just seen. This is the one I previously downloaded. And I'll download this one, which is the Mojang one. So I'll download this as well. So I'll right click, save image, 
save this to my desktop, and now I've got two different capes we're going to be installing. So these two capes here, I've had to edit within Photoshop because of course the file itself isn't exactly the same as like the 2013 one, for example. Now what I have to do again is open the file location which you've already seen, which of course is skin underscore packs. Going inside of here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete 2011 cape and 2013 cape. But before doing that, I'm gonna grab the capes that I want, I'm gonna put them inside of here, and I'm gonna delete these one and two. So what I'll do is I'll replace these ones. So we'll name this one 2011 Cape, and this one 2012 Cape. Now if done correctly, when I load up Minecraft, we should have these two, which will be three different custom ones. So let's load up Minecraft. I'm trying to unedit this as much as possible so you guys can see the full detailed tutorial. I know it seems a little bit complicated, but it really isn't that complicated. People have done it on Android and showed me that it works fine. Going inside of here, you will notice this has changed and this has changed. And it's also changed within game as well. So if you're wanting like the Mojang logo, you wanna pretend that you're a developer because the Mojang cape itself is for the Mojang developers. This is how it looks. It looks pretty cool as well. It's really, really that simple to do and we could change it to this one as well. I mean, the creeper didn't work that well on this one, but it kind of still works. I really like the color of this one. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you out. Again, all you need is your own skin. If you just want to have the Mojang ones, you've just got to change the skin. But if you want custom banners, you're going to have to go and find a couple of custom banners. Maybe change the file size very, very slightly. If you did enjoy this, be sure to hit that like button. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.